Before coming here today, more than half of you did the same thing. You took a daily vitamin. Well, you're not alone. 1.5 billion vitamins were taken today, and the result is an $80 billion industry that's only growing. But there's a huge problem. Most of us don't know if the vitamins we take have what we need, where the ingredients are coming from, or if they even work. And the truth is, vitamins don't work for us the way they're supposed to. They've been formulated with data from 1968 and don't take into account the nutrients we're already getting from our diets. So fast forward 50 years, taking a vitamin today is like using a telegraph when you have an iPhone available. We care so much about what we're putting in and on our bodies, but when it comes to vitamins, we have no clue. It's simply a black box. We're Ritual, and we're a team of cell biologists and biomedical engineers working together towards one vision, to reinvent the vitamin from the source to the cells. Let's take a look at how we're doing this. Vitamins today have a shotgun approach to formulation. The top-selling vitamin has over 20 ingredients, but the truth is that even with an average diet, we don't need more than half of those. In fact, we know that certain unmetabolized nutrients can accumulate in the cells over time and cause more harm than good. Looking at a cellular level, Ritual mimics the way that nutrients work together in the body. By including the proper forms and dosages of vitamins D, K, boron, and magnesium, we can change the way that calcium is being absorbed just from the foods we eat, so we don't even need it in our product. Our scientific team is led by Dr. Luke Bucci. Luke has over 30 years of industry experience leading research and development for multi-billion dollar nutraceutical companies such as Schiff. Together with our team, we formulated a product that works together in the cells and gets us to optimal health with less but more bioavailable nutrients. Our second innovation is our encapsulation. We wanted to make sure the vitamin that we so perfectly formulated got properly absorbed in the body. There have been so many advancements in pharma, such as nanotechnology and carbon fiber sustained release pellets, but those same advanced encapsulation technologies have not been used in the vitamin industry. Think about it. We care about medicine delivery, but we take vitamins each and every day, and we have not changed delivery and absorption. So for the very first time, we're introducing beadlet and oil encapsulation for the multivitamin. Cue the demo, please. Not only is this beautiful, but it's the most effective way to encapsulate our nutrients. In this form, nutrients are kept in their original forms, dry and dry, oil and oil. This reduces interaction, improves stability, and keeps nutrients in the same forms they're found in the foods we eat. Back to the slides, please. Ritual's unique vegetarian capsule bypasses the stomach, improves tolerability, and no one is nauseous when they take our vitamin. <laughs> Sorry. Um, our third innovation is ingredient information. It's not enough for us to just know what goes into your vitamins. We want you to know as well. And so for the very first time, we're introducing the world's first open source vitamin. What does that even mean? Well, we're making the research and data on every single ingredient that has gone into your vitamin available to you for the very first time. So you know where it comes from and why it's there. Let's take a look at our uh, database. Here you can see some of our ingredients. We can click into vitamin K2, MK7. We can see the supplier, the source, where it's coming from and why it's there, what it does in the body. Digging even further, we can see that it comes from Norway from Kappa Biosciences. We want to read more. We have a Q&A with every scientist behind every ingredient that we use. We're proud of our ingredients. All of our ingredients are meticulously researched and backed by the latest science. So we're putting all of our cards on the table. In fact, we're making all the research and substantiation available to the consumer. We encourage consumers, avid researchers, and scientists to leave feedback on the latest and greatest ingredients because we want them in our product and we want to constantly iterate as a company. 
So beyond the product itself is our distribution. We've cut out the middleman, and we're going direct to consumer through our website, ritual.com. Our very first product, Essential for Women, is a reinvented multivitamin for women. It improves mood, energy, skin, anti-aging, and more. It gets us to optimal health with less but more bioavailable nutrients. And a vitamin like this, when you would have to cobble together lots of ingredients, would take a lot of time and a lot of money, around $200 in retail. But for $30 a month, we're going direct to consumer through our site, and we'll be delivering it to your doorstep. So go to ritual.com and sign up for early access and learn more. Thank you. Judges, questions, comments? Yeah, what's the cost compared to a normal multivitamin? Uh, our cost is $30. A typical multivitamin can range anywhere from $6 to $60. So $30 for how many? For, for a month's supply. Uh -huh. And so ours isn't a typical multivitamin, that's the truth. So we have a lot of ingredients that multivitamins don't include, like omega-3s. So you have women cobbling together an omega-3, a multivitamin, another f uh, the best form of vitamin D. And so we're bringing the only essential nutrients that women need into one product. I love all the, the information. The transparency is great. Um, uh, your claims that this improves mood, mm -hmm. this improves energy, um, What's the backup for that? Right. We don't take claims lightly. Uh, we have a veteran team of scientists in our company. Um, so for us, all of, our all of our claims are backed by human clinical studies. So we match the dosages to the dosages in clinical studies, and every ingredient that we use is, has human clinicals on them. So we know that it does those things in women. But er er is yours just designed for women? For now, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, my wife went to the doctor not long ago and prescribed, I believe, a, for example, the major, I think it was vitamin D. Yep. And then she called up a week or two, maybe, no, maybe it was a couple months later, and she had another test and said double the doses. So clearly there was an analysis made of, in her blood, mm -hmm. uh, taking a blood sample of what she was deficient in. Mm -hmm. Now, yours is a multi, it has lots of different things. That wouldn't take care of a problem where someone was de specifically deficient in something as opposed to something else. Right. And so I guess it answers the question of do we even need a vitamin? And so we know based on thousands of uh, surveys and studies done by the government and peer-reviewed studies that the average U.S. adult, 90%, over 90% of U.S. adults are deficient in vitamin D. Over 90% of U.S. adults are deficient in magnesium. Uh, sorry, two-thirds of U.S. adults are deficient in magnesium. Over 90% are deficient in vitamin E, and two-thirds in uh, omega-3s. So it's, we believe in personalization, and we, but it's not there yet. Also, that's a separate every, thing. Every vitamin company claims that you need something, or everyone will, you know, we get hit all the time, you need more vitamin C, you need more vitamin D. Drink more orange juice. Drink more, just, you know. Drink more milk. Uh, you're, it seems to me, in the end, you're just like every other multivitamin with your claims. Why are your claims better than another? And by the way, also, very often people will say one brand. Be careful of certain brands versus other brands. So you do have brand comparisons, also. Right. So we're putting all of our cards on the table. We're putting all of the research, which is tens of thousands of studies, human clinical studies out on the table with everything that we're doing. No other company is doing that. They, they're holding their cards tight. Um, we also have a medical advisory board that we're working closely with the medical community, we're working closely with the scientific community, and we're actually creating a product that everyone agrees on, which is not throwing in the kitchen sink and seeing what sticks. We don't believe in that. So we're including only ingredients that are backed by science and that we know that they work. We don't have experimental ingredients in our products. I'm sure other people have, I just want to, one last question. Are you able to make certain claims of efficacy that others can't? Right, yes, we can, um, because we're using new ingredients, um, and we use uh, human clinicals, which I mentioned earlier. What's your go-to-market strategy? 
So right now we have a referral page on Ritual.com, so anyone who <laughs> wants to sign up and become a brand ambassador for us, that would be fantastic. Um, our go-to-market strategy is trust and transparency. We're telling a story that hasn't really been told in this industry that is so important to uh, health. And as a, a mom, and I started this company when I was pregnant, four months pregnant when I raised our first round, uh, we believe in total transparency and, and creating the highest quality products, and we're telling that story through media, through partnerships, and uh, a brand ambassadorship program. And just an extension of that, I mean, it's, it's an awesome vision, but the, you know, the business today is, it, it is such a large business, and the distribution channels are so well defined. Just, you, you've got to reach people to tell that story. Right. And so, does that not, is it, are you not going to have to spend a large amount of marketing to go direct? No, we, we feel like we have a differentiator and we've, ta we've surveyed hundreds, almost a thousand women, um, and women want the direct channel as long as they trust it. And we've built such an incredible consumer experience online, our site is launching in July, that no one's ever seen anything like this in this industry. But we how will they find it? Uh, they'll find it through word of mouth. Uh, they'll find it through uh, press. They'll find it through affiliates and ambassadors for us. Um, we have incredible relationships as a team, not just in the tech space, but I actually come from an entertainment background. So we're, we have the world behind us. The world being like celebrities that you know that will say, this thing is great, I love this thing. Um, we're not looking for one celebrity to, to back us. That's not our thing. We believe the brand stands on its own, but we believe in community. And so we're building a community of women. Um, we have over 50 articles that we're ready to go out from thought leaders in the health space, some celebrities, some uh, thinkers, and we're building a community even through our site, uh, a content. So the, there's two, two kind of a multi-part question about the packaging. So the pill itself, it looks like you're being, you're a little bit of a package company as well as, as a vitamin company, right? Because you're saying that that packaging is more efficient, delivers ingredients more efficiently to the body, and then it also allows you to offer those ingredients in a more efficient, more, na more organic package. Is that correct? Yep. So then the encapsulation is unique. No one is using that for a multivitamin right now. It allows us to get you know, we have a omega-3, and then we have all these other proprietary ingredients, which I will not mention yet. Um, and, and it allows us to encapsulate them together, and it keeps them in their original form. So some of the ingredients are found dry, and then some of the ingredients are found in their oil forms. It reduces interaction and actually gets absorbed better. So is that, is that particular pill format that you have, is that patented? No, that is not patented. Because so, it's used in other places, just not in the multivitamin? Yeah. Okay. And then as far as yes. um, the far future, obviously not immediately because you're searching for, you're shooting for a multivitamin at launch, but in the future, do you think customization, is, as Alan mentioned, you know, people have different needs. So you use customization part of your vision. So you can go get a blood test, submit the blood test, and then say, oh, I need this vitamin, that vitamin, put that into your capsulated form because you can mix a variety of things. Yeah, down the line, we'd love to experiment with that. We don't believe hardware is nearly there. Like Alan mentioned, his wife got a test a week later and found out her vitamin D doubled. We think hardware is really expensive and doesn't fit the need for all women. We want to make health accessible to all women, not a unique case. So when we do see that hardware is getting there or we feel like we have some kind of influence on that, that is really fascinating to us. Because oh, I, I wouldn't get into blood testing hardware yeah. at the moment. But what I, what I meant more along the lines was if somebody got a blood test at you know, a professional uh -huh. facility of some sort and then submitted it to you, do you view customizable vitamins as part of your vision for the future of your company? Not right now. Our next product is a prenatal vitamin, which we've already formulated. Can I add an interesting question? One of the, I think all of us in the audience probably have similar we take vitamins, I, I, I'm sure all of us have five or six bottles in yeah. our cabinet, and B, C, Omega, fish oil, whatever, and you take them and you, as far as I'm concerned, you can never say three months later, I feel a hell of a lot better, <laughs> or six months, or, and there's no kind of proof at, the end, at, at some point saying it's had an impact. How do you get over that in general? This, is a, this has to do with all 
right. vitamins in general. You, if, so, you had, if you had the ability at the end of a period of time for your influencers that you're talking about to say, I feel this or that because of that, that, that would have an enormous impact in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. And it's not just about the influencers, it's about the consumer. And for us to be able to get consumer feedback on how they're feeling is really important for us. And both of us come from technology backgrounds, so data and feedback is very important. So uh, that's why the direct to consumer route, we think, is also very important for us. So you don't have at this point any uh, of those touch points that say, we gave it to 50 women or 100 women, and this was the impact six months and a year later. We will because we'll ask for customer feedback through surveys and, and certain other methods. I have one question just about the target buyer. I don't know much about the structure of the vitamin industry. Is it that there's a small set of people who spend a ton of money on vitamins? Is it kind of even? Steven, can you talk a little bit about where in the vitamin market you see the biggest opportunity for Ritual? We see the biggest opportunity for Ritual is kind of for the average woman. We don't see it for the woman who spent, it, it, we think we have a superior product, so maybe the woman who does spend hundreds of dollars can just take our product. But we want to make a product that's accessible. And every woman when she's pregnant takes, almost every woman, I can't say that, takes prenatal vitamins. And so we want to also create the highest quality prenatal vitamins. So for us, it's every woman. And we don't think that $30 a month for health is a lot to ask for. We, could you pass around one of the pills? I mean, how stable are they? Are they yeah. soft? Are they hard? Do they hard. eat in the summertime? Do they last? Because mm -hmm. so we're not still sitting yeah. cabinets, right? Yeah. So they're shelf stable. Every um, kind of experienced company in the space does shelf stability testing, which which requires you to test um, stability for for the pills. Um, so our, our our vitamins are shelf stable for a very long time. John, how does it feel? Nope. How does it feel? Does it feel like a normal Well, oh, how does it feel? I thought you yeah. said that. How does um, it feel? It feels, um, it's, it's hard. Um, it's not like some of those, you get some of those pills which are just like totally squishy, which, um, so it's fairly solid. Um, but you could, you know, you could break it. If someone takes this pill, do they then not take all B, C, D, and all the other, so this is, this replaces all of the pills you have. You can throw all the pills in the cabinet. That's it. You should be the face one. of our brand. <laughs> that's, an <laughs> that's an interesting selling point. Yeah. And from a product perspective, I mean, it looks like a fluorescent sort of blue. It's like weird. Why did you? That's not the color of our final product. This ah. is a lab sample. Oh, so, so I should we're take actually that. not including oh. any colors. So none of us should take that. Uh, no, probably not. <laughs> it's also been handled by lots of yeah, TechCrunch lots of reporters. <laughs> I don't know how clean their hands are. Our hands are super clean. Come on. Um, I think we're actually out of time. So one last round of applause for Ritual.